Hey everybody, I'm Dave, D-E-C, and I want to talk about some left hand technique stuff today. And I want to actually do it without the guitar for the moment. Alright, so your left hand here is on the right side of your screen. Alright, if I bring my hand up, naturally, it's like this, in the hand shaking position. Nice to meet you, okay? Guitarists, we have to kind of compromise here and put our wrist like this. See that? The finger's pointing towards the ceiling. But this is actually, it can possibly cause the wrist strain right here, okay? So we want to kind of find the happy medium where, of our completely natural position and, and try to avoid this extreme, okay? And there's two more angles I want to talk about. Uh, the next angle here is the finger curl, all right? A lot of teachers tell you, keep your fingers curled, Arr. But what they actually mean is don't play like this. Don't bend the wrong way. But you can, your fingers naturally have this curl already. See that arc? This digit is what we're talking about, all right? So if we keep them too curled, it causes pain in the joints here, all right? You want to maintain your natural curl, possibly getting into a little more curl, maybe like that. But that's really not that much more. You don't need this perfect straight curl thing, okay? The last angle I want to talk about is, here we go, this wrist angle, okay? We want to avoid this extreme angle. We want something more natural like this, okay? So we talked about, basically the natural thing to do is go like this. But we can't really play guitar like this. We have to compromise a little bit. Okay, so I have this thingy here. This is called the dinerette cushion. Uh, this, helps, this helps get the guitar at the proper angle. So I'm gonna put it on my right lap here. Okay, guitar should be kind of 45 degrees. Get it up as much as possible, the headstock here. Okay, all right, uh, next thing. Here's, here's the natural wrist angle, okay? I'm gonna go into the first position and I'm gonna have my finger at a natural curl here. All right, okay? As opposed to this, oh my God, it hurts so much. I rather, I prefer this, okay? Now, we're gonna have to compromise as we get onto lower frets. I had to turn my wrist flatter, but I don't have to go completely flat like this, okay? There's no reason to do that. I can get into this more natural angle here, okay? Now, another thing we have to compromise with is the pinky, okay? If I'm just, if I just have the natural angle, my pinky doesn't even hit the fretboard. So I have to do a little rotation, just a little bit, and a little bit more for the lower strings, okay? But I'm not fully pulled out like this, which causes that hand strain I was talking about. And my fingers maintain this natural curve, and my wrist is not like this. It's like this. So I'm, I'm actually playing the bottom string with my pinky right now. You don't need this. All right, teachers will tell you, get these fingers curled like this, and it's actually not good for you. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go into a higher position, kind of play some stuff. There are some exceptions, but you can still, you don't want to keep yourself strained for a while. Let's see, bar chords, you can keep your hand out a little bit. Now this one I've always find, found to be a strain. 
this particular bar chord here. Basically, the, the basic thing with technique and obeying your hand is give yourself breaks so that if you're in an extreme position, you're not in, in it for too long. Same thing with your hearing. If you're, if you're hearing really loud sounds, the longer you hear them, the more damage they do. You can, you can be at a really loud concert for 15 or 20 minutes, okay, without hearing protection. But after that, then you start damaging your ears. It's the same thing with your hands. All right. We want to avoid straining ourselves, especially in the lower positions. Okay, hopefully some of that helped, and uh, feel free to leave comments, blah, 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 and I'll talk to you later.